two quotes I love are Maya Angelou's people will forget what you said. They'll forget what you did and they'll never forget, but they'll never forget the way that you made them feel. Uh, and then the other one is Muhammad Ali who says service to others is the rent you pay for your room here on earth, which again, it doesn't have to be like, it doesn't necessarily mean that your mother Teresa, it doesn't mean that you're donating a million dollars every week. It could just be as simple as you said, making someone smile, giving them a compliment, introducing them to someone. And for these essential life skills, one thing that I talk about is prioritizing it in a way that I don't think most people do. So like, if you came to the gym with me, you would know if you're a beginner, you know, you can get stronger, you know, in 12 weeks, we could put 50 pounds in the bar. Or if I hired you, Chris, and I wasn't making any money, I know that in 12 weeks, I'll have saved up more money, I'll be making exponentially more. We know these certain things that you can get better at. But certain people, and I had this, this self-limiting belief or false narrative that Ah, that's how I grew up. That's how my family is. We're, we're not good people. We're not good with people. We're not good in parties. We're not whatever it might be. And so you have to erase that false narrative. And so what I do is prioritize it the same way I would prioritize, you know, keep track of things. You keep track of your ROI, your KPI, whatever. You keep track of your SWAT numbers, your chin up numbers. So in my efforts to do this, and this is what I, anyone I work with or when I talk about this on stage, you have to make it a priority where you wake up every day and say, okay, I suck at this. So what do I need to do? I need to engage people, push myself out of my comfort zone, make eye contact, give a compliment, and then track that the same way you track business stuff or workout stuff at the end of the day in a little notebook or a journal, track it, get better the next day. And so even to this day where I feel like I've gotten exponentially better, if I go to a party, if I go to an event with 300 people, if I go to just coffee with you, I'm going to prepare for that on the way there. I'm not going to leave it to chance. I'm going to say, okay, uh, I know Chris is going to be there. I want to talk to him about some of this stuff. I know Craig's going to be there. I want to ask him about this. I want to make sure I don't get too distracted and just stay with Bedros because he's my closest friend. I want to make sure I give everyone equal attention. Do this. I'm going to have an intention for everything that I want to do. What do I want my posture to be like, my body language? What bad old behaviors do I not want to default to? What do I do when I get insecure and uncomfortable that I don't want to do? And again, that could be for anything. And then on the way home from that, I'm going to be like Kobe watching game film or Beyonce watching a concert back so I can get better tomorrow where I'm going to replay. Okay, did I do this well? Did I do this well? That was really good. I should double down on that. I got really awkward and weird here because someone brought up, so I got to address that. So I'm always trying to work on those people skills because they never came naturally to me. And again, now for me to be known as the guy who knows everybody where, you know, pro athletes and actors are, are always asking me to introduce them to somebody, uh, that's just a testament to the work. But the work's never done. I'm always working on that 24-7.